Hello people of the world, it's Maha, and today I'm going to a Tanamonjo show here in Philly, PA. This was a two hour drive from my house, but I'm finally here and I'm really excited to go. I'm going alone, but it's still going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to meet her because I know she said that like, even if you just get like a general admission ticket and not VIP, which is the one that I got, general admission, she was like, you still get to like meet her and take a selfie with her. And yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I drove by it right now, but there's like a huge line. Um, it said the doors open at 1.30 and the show starts at 2, but it's 2.12 and like five minutes ago when I passed by the line was like super long. So I think they're running a bit late, so I don't want to like go outside and stand in the cold, so I'm sitting in the car right now. And also I came in this seat really quickly just to put on my shoes because I'm actually wearing heels for the show, but I didn't want to drive two hours in heels, so I was wearing my Uggs, but I just took them off and... I can't even show you them. I'll show you them later. But yes, yeah, so it turns out it was a huge coincidence because my friend Shafka goes to school in Philly, PA. And when I was telling her we went for sushi last week and I told her, yeah, I'm going to Philly, PA for this show on Sunday. She's like, oh my God, I'm going back to school, like, you know, to live in my apartment and all that on Sunday. And I was like, okay, we should totally drive together. It totally worked out. And she's here. Say hi. Hi. So yeah, it was a nice drive. I wasn't like lonely or anything because I don't like doing drives alone. I like having people in the car with me. And yeah, a good start to an amazing day. After the show, I'm gonna go to like this food place with her that she always talks about and says that it's so good. So I'm so excited to go there with her. And yeah, I'm just excited for the day overall. Um, I was talking to my parents and they were like, yeah, like if I'm too sleepy by the end of the night and I don't wanna drive like the two hours back, I might as well just sleep over her place. So I have, I brought like my whole bed set and luggage and stuff in the back. But if I'm like, fine and not sleepy then i'll just drive home but yeah we shall see wait you can do this i thought this was a one way oh no one way. okay yeah, yeah you're right you're right yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay make a right at market street so uh, just get into the right lane you can do it now because there's nobody uh, okay you guys so she drops me off to the place because i drove the two hours here but like i don't want to park here pay for parking her college is like 15 minutes away from here so i was like okay you can just drop me and then drive to your college park for free at your college living that desi lifestyle free <laughs> hey hi Look, i always have my keys attached to my wristlet because i don't carry purse i just carry this little thing i hate carrying purses mm -hmm. um so i always have so i left with the keys because the keys are like automatic they work with the car you just push the button you don't put the key into the ignition because it's a prius you know I leave, she starts driving, and the car is driving. The car is totally driving without the keys, but then after a while, it just shuts down, so she's calling me. And she's like, you took the keys, and I'm like, oh, shit. And at this point, I'm in the place now. I'm at the Tana Monjo show, and I'm like, holy crap, what do I do? And she's panicking, and she's like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, just pull over, pull over. And she said, I don't think I can. I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? You don't think you can? Just pull over anywhere, like literally anywhere, and just put on your hazards. So she pulled over into this gas station, and I walked like 15 minutes in the cold from uh, the nightclub place where the show was to the gas station. And like it's so funny that I ended up walking in the cold in my heels because the whole point in that like we went around in circles so long because we saw that the line for the show was long so we just drove around in circles to avoid me standing in the cold. So it ended up like canceling out anyways. It's okay, it's actually really funny. Like I don't, it's not your fault. It's definitely my fault for not remembering to give you the keys. I'm surprised it moved that long. <laughs> yeah, me too, yo. Me too. I felt bags were in heels. No, it's okay. I almost tripped once, but that was all like when I was almost at the gas station. <laughs> You're laughing. I feel so bad. You actually no, it's got actually tickets. really funny. It's actually really funny. I think I missed her entrance because as I was leaving, when I got the phone call from uh, Shavkat, as I was leaving, like I heard everybody scream and go crazy as if she was walking onto stage. So I quickly went to go peek, but I was like, no, no, I can't go. I gotta go rescue my friend. So I didn't even get to see her yet, but hopefully I'll see her like right now. To south 15th street. It always happens when we're together. Oh, she, okay, you have to turn right onto South 17th. Yeah, that's the next street. Yeah, <laughs> we've went in the circle so many times. This is at this the fourth point. circle. Yeah, this is the fourth time we've went around in this circle. It's actually really funny. Huh, so what bad. a day. No, I'm loving this day. It's been an adventure. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so excited. Over here? Uh, South no. 17th. Oh, next so, yeah, yeah, you keep going. South 17th. 
At first, like, I honestly didn't even, when you first called me, I didn't think that you were going to say the keys. I didn't even think about the keys. I thought you were going to say, like, you accidentally got in an accident or you hit the car. Or oh, something no. Like <laughs> I was so worried. As soon as I saw you calling, I'm like, oh, my God, this can't be good. No, I, forgot I was the keys. so scared. And then when you said you forgot the keys, it was kind of a relief because I was like, okay, it's nothing too serious. Yeah, like, you know, like, you're okay. Over here. Okay. Alright. Hi. Oh, so oh nice my goodness. To you are so cute. Thank I got you. Oh so are you? Can you say hi to my vlog? Of course. Okay of course. Awesome. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're just chilling. Subscribe to her channel if you like. Oh. Oh. Thank you so it's much, cool. Tana. You're so welcome. Perfect. What kind of YouTube videos do you make? Just vlogs? Uh, yeah, just vlogs. That's I have cool. like a. Oh my god, you guys, I'm literally dying. Like, she, Tana Mojo actually talked to me, and we were talking about videos and stuff, and I told her about my videos, and she said she'll look me up. She's a busy person. Whether or not she has time, I don't know, but that would be so dope. That would be so cool. She's so nice, and she kept on saying that I was, like, really pretty, and I was like, oh my god, huge confidence boost right there. Like, yo, that's insane. So I just came back from the Tana Mojo show. It was so good. I'm not back all the way at my house yet. I'm at my friend's apartment because she goes to college near where the show was. So now I'm here and we're gonna go get some food and then I have a two hour drive home. But meeting Tana Mojo was amazing. She's so sweet. And I mean, like I watch her videos, I already know that she's like super sweet and super genuine. But meeting her in person, like, she was like talking to me and she went above and beyond to just be like super kind and super sweet and yeah she's just super super sweet and the fact that like when i said like be in the vlog and she's like you're a vlogger and i'm like yeah like she asked me about my videos and i just thought that that was so sweet that like she cared and she asked me about like stuff relating to my videos and i was like wow like she's making conversation with me I thought that it'd be like a quick, because I've been to meet and greets before, and it's usually like quick, you just take a picture and like security just shoves you out, and the next person comes in, and I've been to like so many events where it's like that, but with Tana Monjo, like she, it was like she was calm, she was chill, like she was like, you know, taking her time with um, her fans who she was meeting, and I just thought that that was so, so super sweet, and she's so sweet and so genuine, I love it, I love her, it was an overall wonderful experience, I don't care if this vlog sounds so fangirly, because I can let it sound fangirly. Hi. Over there, crash Ma's car. <laughs> yeah, she drove to pick me up. So I drove basically, I drove my car from my house to the venue. Then she drove from the venue to her apartment here. And then when it was time to pick me up, she picked me up. Ooh, you look good at this lighting. I was like, where did you get these lights from? Because they actually work like really good. And she, I thought she was going to be like Ikea. Like 99% me, I swear, like I thought she was going to say Ikea. She's like, I stole it. <laughs> I did not expect that response. <laughs> you need a lamp, so he's still. <laughs> That's so funny. And from where? The An MSA, MSA event. The Muslim Student Association <laughs> place. You stole from the Muslims. Other thing. The other thing I forgot to mention is that not only was she like interested in my videos and stuff like that, she actually said, "I'll find you. I'll look you up." Like when I told her about it, she's like, "What's it called? Like your videos?" And I told her, and she's like, "Yeah, I'll find you. I'll look you up." And I was at that point, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like. Like, she's so sweet. Like, I would have never expected that. Like, I didn't even expect her to really say yes to the vlog. Like, I was like, okay, if she's cool with it, then that's fine. But if she's not cool with it, that's also fine. Like, I love her. Like, I would love to just meet her and hug her. Like, that's goals as it is. But the fact that she was okay with being in the vlog, and then she was so super sweet to me making conversation, and then the, th the fact that she said that she was going to look me up. Like, she said, I'll find you. I'll look you up. Like, ooh, girl, you just made my day. All right. So I'm at this place, this food place that my friend has been telling me about for so long. We've been talking about it ever since Ramadan, right? <laughs> yeah. Ever since I started freshman year. Yeah, ever since she's been coming here, she's been telling me about this place. And every time she talks about it, I'm like, I can't wait to try it. And now I'm finally trying it. I'm here. It's so huge. I was actually going to get the rice platter thing because it's like much cleaner to eat with like a fork and stuff. But I was like, forget being clean. I'm going to be messy and get this huge wrap. And pretty sad. I go from this side. This way? Yeah, because it's already open. Yeah. I don't want to just fall all over you. Okay. Okay, Okay. Alright, guys.
guys, so the place that I was eating, I went into their bathroom and I had brought my contact case with me, so I took out my contacts, put it in the case, so I can drive home in peace, feeling easy. I changed into sweatpants and Uggs, instead of my skinny jeans and thigh-high heels, and I changed from my light jacket into my favorite big puffy jacket. So I am comfy, I am ready to drive the two hours home, I had a fantastic day, and yeah, let's get this show on the road, woo, it actually applies here, because I'm literally on the road, okay, if I don't get a chance to end this vlog, let me just end it right now, thank you so much for watching this video, thank you to Tana Monjo for being so epically sweet and genuine and just awesome and everything I imagined her to be, and thank you to you guys for putting up with my fangirling in this video, I love getting excited and fangirling over people that I love and adore, so yeah, and make sure to subscribe turn on my post notifications to be notified super right away as soon as I post a new video and I won't bombard you with a bunch of notifications I only post like once a week sometimes twice maximum three times so you won't get a bunch of notifications from me but yeah I'll see you guys in my next video guys two hour drive and I'm finally home from the Tana Mojo show the most epic thing in the world just went down yet again. I did another prank on my mom, and it was great. I acted like I was high AF, and basically I had this weed-smelling candle to make my room smell like weed. I had like a Rillo to make a blunt, and then I had oregano to look like the fake weed. So it was pretty crazy. It was pretty good. It ended up being perfect my ass got whooped so yeah definitely go head over to that video and check it out it'll be linked in the description box below show it some love and yeah thumbs it up for my ass whooping <laughs> okay bye for real this time